Well, hello class. Uh, we are in week seven, believe it or not. So uh, I've been thinking a lot about this class and just kind of the, the, the content and the conversations and the assignments. And um, this is, uh, I think, an incredibly important class. I think Smith's book is uh, an invaluable text. I think that um, David Brooks' book is an incredibly important text. I remember when that book first came out, he was making the rounds and he was all over the place. And people were so curious. What, what's a New York Times columnist, editorial columnist, doing writing about character, the road to character? And and, and why are, why is he writing about this in such, um, you know, almost, almost Christian, well, if not explicitly Christian ways, especially for someone who was considered to be, um, you know, in, in previous life, a... Uh, uh, um, not a Christian. So where's he getting at this? And yet he was making the circuit. He was talking to all these Christian conferences and he was having conversation with these Christian leaders. And he was, he was edging his way towards the fact that this actually, the, the way, he was edging his way towards following the way because he realized that the way, um, the way, so Christianity, this faith reality is the foundation of for our values, for our virtues, for our character, for our integrity, for who we are, for what we do, and all these different things. And so I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that in this class, you have found incredible value in thinking deeply about values and virtues. I hope that you have been pushed a little bit, uh, maybe even a bit uncomfortable in some of the conversations, some of the readings. I hope that's the case. That's actually a really good thing. I hope that you, you, you find that to be helpful and important. Uh, we're going to read some things uh, about uh, depravity today and ambition or this week, and it might rub you a little bit, but I hope you'll give it consideration. Go, man, I, didn't, I don't know what I think about that, but it really challenged me. Right? That's the beauty of education is we get to challenge one another. We get to think deeply. We get to think thoughtfully. We get to think thoroughly um, about what is it that, that makes me think this way, right? We all have feelings, but what is it that makes me feel and think in different ways. I think that it's really helpful and important that we think and feel in ways that are different, if nothing else, to confirm what it is that we believe to be true, right? But to really dig deep and go, uh, that's really questioning my values. It's really questioning how I define virtue. And, and I hope that it'll take us deep into those places so that we then have this foundation that really kind of catapults us into the future work that we get to take part in. Um, so we're going to look at the shadow side of strengths. We're going to look at um, a couple of additional chapters from Brooks. You have finished James Smith book, and so we're going to look at that um, uh, from an assignment standpoint. Uh, we're going to look at all sorts of things. So we've got a lot to cover uh, this week. So if you go into um, your syllabus and you go into uh, module 7, you will see that we've got a number of assignments that we're focused on. As I mentioned, we're looking at human depravity, looking at ambition, we're looking at the shadow side of strengths. We were watching a number of videos that are really important videos. We're going to read some. We've got a blog about the shadow side of strengths. We're going to look at Macbeth. Uh, it's really a fantastic week. But I was thinking about this class and how it really does set a foundation for where we're headed. Um, it really helps us, I think, to answer the question of who am I and whose am I and what's most important to me. How do I define virtue? How do I think about those things? And I think that you'll find it to be incredibly valuable as we head forward in this class, uh, or in this week in, in our class. Uh, so you've got a couple things. You've got obviously your readings, you've got your multimedia, you've got some videos to watch, uh, and then you have your discussions, and then you have your living virtues reflection. Okay, so this is really important, so make sure you read through those descriptions of the assignment itself. That's due at the end of this week. Your values journal number three is due at the end of this week. Um, and uh, you've got a couple of reminders uh, that are coming up, and you've got a quiz here. Um, do you have a quiz here? I don't think you have a quiz here, so there's just a holder for that, but no quiz. Um, and then you have your reminders, okay? So you've got a number of assignments due. You have a number of discussions. You have a number of videos. It's jam-packed, but I hope that you're finding incredible value in this. I think what you have submitted so far, the way that you're thinking about this, is showing me that you're finding value. It's really important, the value that you're finding. I love what you're doing uh, with this. Um, and, and I hope that going forward, as you are able to reflect back, and I hope you'll keep these books, I really do, to help ask the question of what do I find most important? What is What, what, what do I worship, right? So what's at the forefront of my mind? Um, how is my thinking and my doing 
affected and infected and impacted and what's the intent, right? Am I doing the things that I meant to do? There's even a section in this assignment that's due this week of what didn't go well or what didn't you do or and why didn't you do it? Oftentimes we have well, you know, the best intentions and we just don't do things. But I would argue that sometimes the things that we don't do or we don't do, perhaps I would say it this way, we don't do as well as we'd hoped, it's actually where we learn the most. And so I, I hope that you have found great value in both the successes uh, and I wouldn't necessarily call them failures, but the, the the lack of success, right? Maybe you haven't thought as well as you had hoped. Maybe you didn't do as well as you had hoped on an assignment. Or maybe you weren't as clear in your thinking. There's lots of different things, but I hope that you will find those. Call them failures if you want to. But, but, but in those experiences that didn't go as well as you'd hoped, I hope that you will find uh, that the seeds of success, the foundational seeds to plant you and to catapult you into the future, especially with the foundation of values and virtues and character and integrity and all the things that I believe are the, the, the cornerstone, most important things for us as we move forward into our careers and lives as leaders. I hope you'll find great value in that. Um, you've got one more week after this. We're done at the end of next week, week eight. Um, there's been tremendous learning. And I think I've mentioned this before. I'm, I'm, a, I'm kind of an atypical instructor, especially in an online classroom. I've laid before you a, a, just a buffet, right? A feast, a smorgasbord of learning. And I believe that if you do the work, you will learn, right? You get out of this what you put into it. And so do grades necessarily dictate, or I shouldn't say dictate, do they indicate the learning? No. I can't actually tell you if you learned. You might be a great paper writer. You might be able to check the boxes incredibly well. But learning comes down to um, what your takeaways are. How will it change you, right? What, are the, what is the effect of what you've just taken away on your life? Is there one? Is there an effect? I mean, truly, honestly, is there an effect on how you live, how you lead, how you act uh, because of what it is that you've learned? I hope that's, I hope that you have, I hope there is. But I won't be able to know that because I'm not with you. You know, I think that we, um, we so often, we think about things on a short-term basis, right? We are individuals, and we want instant gratification. I want to, I want to grade. I want, I want to make money, right? I was talking to somebody today, a good colleague of mine who has a great, successful consulting firm, and she made a lot of money over the last couple of years, but her mindset was such that even though money was made, um, it was not a uh, long-term success. It was short-term wins, but it didn't set her up to succeed long term, right? It didn't get to build the foundation for where she wanted to take her firm. And I, I use that example because I think about this class. Are you going to get a good grade? If you do the work, likely yes. That's just, I mean, I'm just going to say that. If you do the work, you will likely get a good grade. Unless you don't do the work or you don't do it, you know, the way it's assigned. Or you're like, ah, screw this. I'm doing it how I want to do it. I mean, you could, but that's going to have a negative impact. But that's short-term thinking, right? If you're thinking, okay, at the end of week eight, I want A. I want to encourage you to have, you know, one. I don't know how you are as a learner, but I'm going to assume based upon the work I've seen, the conversations we've had, and the, the ways that you kind of expose the way you think, that you, you want to learn. You want to take things away. Don't think, I just want the grade. Think, I want to learn. And I hope that this will be a foundation for you that you can take forward and when you are, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years removed. You will remember something that David Brooks said. You will remember something that James Smith said. You'll remember something from the, the, the brief talk we watched today uh, from uh, President Barack Obama. You'll remember something about um, some of the, the incredible leaders that we looked at. Uh, next week, you've got your final paper that's due, and I'm going to um, uh, talk more about that in a video um, probably later this week. And you're going to look at some classics. I'm going to give you some articles. You'll see those articles show up in, in Canvas here in a couple of days, maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe probably Thursday. Read some things from Greenleaf, from Drucker, from Bennis, from Mary Parker Follett. Um, there's some incredible classical leadership gurus. And I want us to think about what did these folks say? I mean, Mary Parker Follett was, you know, she was early 20th century. She was a social worker by training, and she is uh, what many would consider to be the grandmother, if you will, of modern day management. I mean, she was saying things uh, in the 1930s, uh, 1920s, that uh, would have been uh, seemingly 
uh, just a groundbreaking um, today in 2019. Uh, these folks were way ahead of their time. Or this idea of servant leadership, you know, Robert Greenleaf and the work that he did on servant leadership. Max Dupree. I mean, these are folks that maybe weren't even academics, and yet they were saying things that were so valuable. And we're still to this day trying to implement and put into practice the ideas that these folks were talking about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years even. Um, uh, and, and they're still just, if not more, valuable today than they were then. So this class... Believe it or not, whether you are thinking that it is, this is an incredibly important foundational course for where you move forward as a leader. And I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to learn with you, to learn from you, to instruct you, to instruct myself as we dig deeper uh, into um, all the readings, all the videos, all the conversations, thinking about what it is that Brooks is talking about, thinking about what it is that, that Smith is talking about, what are we talking about, and how will it affect the way that we think about values and virtues as leaders going forward from here. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, you all know, uh, keep up the great work. Uh, if I can support you or help you in any way, please email me. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, and if nothing else, I hope you have a great week seven, and I look forward to seeing you online.